Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Lillian Gishuru. And I know today's video I'll be talking about challenges I face as a single mother of three children and how I deal with my deadbeat dads. And of course, this is a topic that many of us go through and I would like us to address it in a detailed way giving you my own experience and the challenges that I go through. So if you're new here, kindly give this video a thumbs up. Remember to subscribe to my YouTube channel. We are road to 1,000 subscribers, guys. Thank you for the 845 subscribers. I love you so much. I appreciate your support so much. Kindly continue subscribing. And of course, don't forget to leave me a comment down below so that we can interact more. With that much talking, let's get straight to the video. So yeah, so let's talk about some of the challenges that I go through as a single mom of three wonderful children. If you're new here, um, I've done a video on telling my story. It is on my one of my videos. Um, if you're new here, I have done a, um, a video on telling my story. It is one of the videos on my channel. So you can feel free to check it out and you'll get to understand my story better. And uh, yeah, I am a single mom of three wonderful children, uh, Sylvanas, Jason and Epiphany, two boys and a girl. And yeah, the challenges are there, the challenges are many, but we, we, we work through them. And uh, uh, some of the challenges that I go through, one is um, financial, especially I am a nail artist and a businesswoman, and now I'm a content creator. So sometimes business is not doing so well, and you find out that you're struggling to make ends meet, you have to survive on loans, you have to depend on your family to come through for you, to come through for the school fees for the kids. You know, sometimes rent, you're not able to meet the, the expectations of your children. They want something, you are not able to afford it. So sometimes it's challenging, but all in all, we thank God. And uh, it's, it's never a dull moment, especially when you go home and they are there, happy to see you, welcoming you home. So yeah, it is never a dull moment with my wonderful children. And I'm, I'll be introducing my children very soon to the channel. Uh, I thank God for them because they make me so happy. And uh, they give me the reason to wake up every day um, feeling hopeful, feeling excited, feeling... Uh, motivated to do better and be better for them and yeah so one of the challenges is uh, financial uh, another challenge is loneliness sometimes um, you know kids will always be kids sometimes you'll hear them pray oh god bless us with a loving father and you know some of the, the time when the children are out there playing maybe in the in the flat or at school and you'll hear them saying oh you know our daddy bought for us this our daddy bought for us the other of course children will always feel like oh yeah how about us why don't we have a dad and I remember the son of the day <laughs> one of my son told me moms you to talk to him moms you look for us a daddy on whatsapp and I told them <laughs> I told him uh, to pray that God blesses him with our with a loving dad because uh, daddies are not gotten from whatsapp uh, <laughs> they come from God and sometimes um, it gets emotional for me because you know sometimes they'll be there telling you all these things and the expectations they have the prayers they are praying that god should bless them with a loving dad so sometimes uh it takes a toil on me and i cry but mm, <laughs> i i always like encourage myself in the lord and i usually say according to the word of god in Isaiah 60 uh 22 that uh, god makes everything beautiful at the right time so sometimes it's not that easy but i i move along and also sometimes it gets lonely as well for me because no matter how hard i try um there, there's something i usually say that no matter how good you are or no matter how caring and loving you are to your children you can never be a dad to them so sometimes um it's challenging and uh you know you feel like I wish you had a helper, you had a companion, when you had a long day at work, you wish that maybe he was there to like help you or, or 
comfort you and sometimes all you need is that just warm embrace to tell you that it is okay things are going to be okay and you're not alone in this so yeah and then another challenge that i usually go through is um um trying to to be a mom and dad for them because sometimes uh you have to put on the big shoes to be the dad and the mom so sometimes they want us to do the cbc project you, you need to get your hands all dirty and get the nail get the hammer build and construct things yeah and sometimes it's not that easy but we bless the lord for everything Another challenge that I usually go through, it is raining out here. <laughs> so another challenge that I usually go through is... Um, another challenge that I usually go through is, of course, temptation from other married men. They want to pursue you. You know, there are this notion most people have that single mothers are desperate. Ah, uh, let me say that we are not. Okay, personally, I'm not desperate of anything, and I try to give my children the best according to the best of my ability. And of course, my help comes from the Lord, according to Psalms 121. Too, my help comes from the Lord, and of course, I know that I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So sometimes, yeah, it is challenging, and of course, when people think that. Um, you know, because you're a single mom, you're so desperate any man that comes your way, you are ready to date them and all. Uh, let me say that uh, people should change the mentality they have. And of course, some people will look down on you because you're a single mom. Some married women will look down on you like because they think um, maybe you can take their husband away from them. Or, you know, that those notions that most people have concerning single moms. But you guys, you don't even have an idea how strong single moms are because that woman uh, does everything to make sure that there is food on the table for her children, there is clothes on their bodies, shoes on their feet, a roof under their heads. So kindly if you know yourself and you're always talking bad about single moms and some people will always be there talking bad about single mothers you brought it upon yourself these are women that chose to stick to their children they are women that give birth and abandon their children they are children they are children that, that get abandoned on the streets they are children that are abandoned in hospitals this is a woman that carried a whole term pregnancy some other women are single moms of dead children because they chose to about their children so there are women out there who are doing their best to make sure that their children are comfortable so kindly be kind to every single woman around you don't look down upon her let her shine let her look good because you don't know about her tomorrow maybe today you are married you don't know about tomorrow so kindly be kind to them and help them um, support their businesses if you can uh, be with be there for them in church uh, let have seminars let have uh, discussions on how to 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 raise children alone you know this life is a puzzle you don't know about tomorrow today is them today tomorrow is you uh, people die you can be a widower so a widow I mean you can be a widow so uh, let's not look down upon single women kindly also for people that think uh, you are a single mom by choice kindly be kind to them because you don't know about your tomorrow you don't know about your daughter's tomorrow uh, no one chooses to be a single mother especially when you have kids are involved you didn't give that child to yourself you are of course hopeful that everything will work out together for good in your marriage or in your relationship but if one partner decides to leave it is okay for you to raise that baby alone and until God blesses you with a responsible partner or someone that you can uh, do this difficult life together you know um, some of these people like criticize single moms and they talk bad about them especially single moms like me who have kids who have said kids with different fathers uh, no one wishes that of course you are hopeful that the second relationship or the third or the fourth or even the fifth relationship is not going to break you're always hopeful that it is going to work so kindly be kind 
in a world that you can be anything to anyone, always choose to be kind because you don't know about tomorrow and you don't know the struggles that that person is going through. So in every situation, choose to be kind, choose to be gentle, choose to be loving. And, um, and if you can't be all those things, kindly keep your mouth shut because you can say something that will break that person like forever. So kindly be kind, be gentle with people, respect single women out there. They are trying their best to make ends meet for themselves and for their children. And um, some people think uh, because you're a single woman, you're desperate. Uh, let me talk on my behalf myself. I'm not desperate. I have had people talk bad things concerning me. I have had people gossip bad things about me. People will say that you are a loose woman. People will say that you are not focused. People will say that you don't know what you want in life. But I'm here to remind you that no one goes into a relationship hoping that the following day or the following week or one year down the line or two years down the line the relationship is going to end. Everyone goes, they are hopeful for a lifetime. And uh, people will always be there to judge you, especially when things are not working together for your good. People will be always be there to criticize you but I want to encourage us especially single women out there single mothers out there that sometimes just encourage yourself in the Lord to know that uh, children are a blessing and, an, and a, a, a heritage from God and if God didn't want you to be a mother to those children he wouldn't have blessed you with those children because kindly keep uh, think of people that have so much wealth people that are doing so well people actually some people who are actually married and they don't have children and they have everything else going through for them apart from children so kindly be kind to yourself once in a while Take yourself out, um, go have some nice meals, take yourself for an ice cream treat, take yourself out, go for a nature walk, uh, go to somewhere you can just relax and unwind because at the end of the day all what matters is you and your children until God blesses you with a rightful mate. You know the Bible says in Isaiah 34, 16 that none of us shall lack a mate and God is not a man that he may lie, neither is he a son of man that he may repent. So if God has promised you only need to align yourself with the will of God and he makes everything beautiful at the right time. It is just for now that people are branding you names, they are calling you single mom, they are calling you you are a loose woman, they are telling you don't have morals, but those, everything that they are saying is just for now because your tomorrow is in God's hands. Your destiny is not in the mouths of gossipers and people that talk bad about you, people that wish you nothing but the worst to happen to you. Your destiny is in the hands of God. And I think when you, you, when you align your mindset, when you get to your mind to think that your destiny is not in the hands or in the... Uh, destiny your destiny is not in the hands of men that your destiny is in the hands of god i think you'll have you learn to encourage yourself in the lord and you learn to face this life more boldly more courageously because you know your tomorrow is not in the mouth of your gossipers but your destiny is in the hands of god another challenge that i go through being a single mom of three children is um, criticism by people people will tell you oh um you should have known better you, ha you should have done better and only the, the wearer of the shoe that knows where the shoes actually pinches so people will always have an opinion and as a matter of fact i don't even know where people feel so entitled to tell you how you should live your life or the choices you should have made you know like kindly remove the log in your eye before you remove the speck on my own eye people have that mentality of being so entitled of on thinking of how you should live your life the choices you should have made and uh, people tell you like some people will tell me you shouldn't have left your marriage like bro you wanted me to get killed so that i remain married and i i, I don't get the treat of being a single mom no there's more to life than being beaten and someone eating your face you know so uh, if someone is not offering you respect, uh, if someone is not willing to be a committed father to your children, like, don't force them. Uh, let God deal with them. You know, like, uh, like my, all my, my, all my baby daddies, they are all deadbeats. None of them supports their children. Uh, let me wait for the rain to go down, then we can continue. 
Yeah, so none of them support their ch ch child or children. None of them uh, send support and I don't push them because uh, the Lord has been faithful to me. The Lord has been gracious to my children. My children have not lacked anything. Yes, there are days that are tough. That sometimes they are sent home because of school fees. But God has a way of like making things happen. And I'm grateful to God that regardless of everything, like I go through, God has a way of God always makes a way for me and my children. Of course, it is my desire that my children may grow in a complete family. And until God makes it happen, like, who am I? Like, I'm okay. Like, I'm willing to wait upon the Lord because he is not a man that he may lie. And he has promised me that I shall not lack a meat. So, um... If you're out there and uh, you're a single mom, I want you to encourage yourself in the Lord. I know it is not easy. Sometimes you go through a lot, but I don't want you to give up on yourself. I don't want to give up on your children. You know, we go through a lot. Sometimes we go through stress. Sometimes even we go through depression because the, the stress of life in a is so overwhelming to us. But kindly do not, um, don't give up hope. Continue encouraging yourself in the Lord. Um, it is for a season that you're going through this. The next thing you're going, God is going to give you a good man that is going to love you and love your children and appreciate you for who you are. You know, I usually say like, um, one man's trash is another man's treasure. You might not know your ex may have treated you like trash, made you feel like you're a nobody. Um, insulted you physically abused you but i don't want you to linger on that because you are that you are a daughter of the most high god you i mean you are the apple of his eye he knows you by your name he knows the numbers of the hair on your head like like how well does god know you like sometimes i brag about the love that god has for me because even myself and the hair is mine i can't even i don't even know how many hair strands i have so don't worry because even if you worry you can't even make one a single hair strand grow on your head so don't worry um encourage yourself in the lord as i have mentioned earlier on and of course um do your best to make it to do your best give it your best in whatever you do whatever you work you do give it your best give it like a hundred percent and the lord will surely see you through uh you know some people will always have an opinion of what you should do or how you should live your life some people will, will, will tell you Atta, don't ever get married again i mean like if you want to get married again if you want to have a complete family again take it to the lord in prayer and god is faithful god will send you someone and uh, yeah you'll come back to this video and you're going to write me a testimony and tell me you know what imagine God has remembered me and of course I'll be here to celebrate with you because whatever you celebrate you attract and uh, I want to tell you that your children are a blessing and a heritage from God you know actually those children are actually not yours they're just a, a custodian they belong to God and um, teach your children the ways of the Lord because the Bible says we should, te we should teach our children in the ways of the Lord and when they are grown they shall not depart from them and also I want you to know whenever you're feeling discouraged whenever you're feeling like you know this is too much always remember to encourage yourself in the Lord and also remember Isaiah 8 18 as for you and your children you are of signs and wonders can you imagine you are a sign and a wonder so <sighs> Don't allow people's opinion to pull you down in the journey of life. Um, we all make mistakes. Be gentle to yourself. Uh, be kind to yourself. Forgive yourself. Um, forgive yourself for the days that you have allowed people to hurt you. On and on and on. Um, forgive yourself for allowing people to rub it on your face like they have moved on some people will even send you pictures and tell you this is your replacement like me I would my one of my exes would send me pictures of the new woman and he would tell me this is your replacement you know and uh shake it off like you are a sign and a wonder and god has called you your destiny is great you are made you are you are a sign and a wonder and i don't think there's nothing that can match to that like being a sign and being a wonder like wow uh there's nothing that to me can match to that so 
take time to take care of yourself because sometimes as single mothers we are always overwhelmed there is work there is children there is home there is work <coughs> businesses errands you know um take time off go get your nails done go get your hair done go have a a me moment you know that kami moment where you just go um take part of the, your salary or your income go somewhere buy yourself ice cream buy for you for yourself a nice meal um you know just a a, a good way to pat yourself in the back and you tell yourself that you know what girl I'm doing it I have been doing it and I'll continue doing it until God sends me the right man so if you're out there and you're a single mom I want to send you love I'm sending you good vibes and uh, I want you to know that you are loved and uh, you are appreciated and uh, someone out there is praying for you because I usually take time to pray for single mothers and children out there who have been abandoned by their dads and to know that uh, their tomorrow will be greater than their today because it is it is just for now that you're struggling with them but you don't know and a friend of mine usually tells me that you don't know what you're raising you could be raising the president of the, na the nation of Kenya you could be raising a prime minister you could be raising a doctor an engineer a mechanic a teacher you know you don't know who you are raising so be kind to yourself and be kind to your children love yourself allow the will of god to manifest uh even on those days when you're feeling you're so down you're feeling like the world is against you me or least encourage yourself in the lord to know that you are not in this alone there are people out there who have gone through it right now the lord has remembered them and their time has come yours is on the way so I hope this video encourages you and uh, it gives you hope and uh, if you are there once again and you're always again a single mothers you're always talking ill about single mothers and children of single mothers kindly shut your mouth because you don't know about tomorrow you don't know you know we reap what we sow you don't know the seed that you're sowing whether it is you or your children or your children's children that will reap that seed so kindly be kind to people out there be kind to single moms out there be gentle with them uh, if you have nothing good to say kindly keep your mouth shut and uh, be a blessing you don't need to we all have made mistakes we all have learned from our own mistakes we are still learning from our own mistakes no one chooses like to be a single mother no one chooses to raise their child without a father figure so be kind to them and of course um, be kind to them and be loving to them and uh, yeah um, so that is all I had for you on this video so that is all I had for you on this video always remember to keep smiling keep believing in God and keep believing in yourself bye I love you Mwah.